hey what's up guys and welcome back to anime king 2 and today i'm going to be giving you part 20 of what if naruto had the sharingan and the byakugan mix remember to get this one to 100 like as usual share this to all of your friends on your social media platform and also stay in tune because i'm going to be posting a new episode of what if naruto had 90 genkai after this so stay in tune for that and over on Anime King, my main channel, I posted a new episode of What If Snadi Was Naruto's Mother and I posted the final episode of What If Kurama Gave Naruto a Dojutsu. So make sure to go ahead and check out that and enjoy the final episode. And I hope you guys enjoy that series. And remember guys, if you're new and this is the first time you're hearing my voice and you enjoy the videos on both channels, Go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join Anime King and Anime King 2 and become a part of the Anime King family. And thank you all for your help and your support. And remember to comment down below and tell me if you're new. I'll be replying and talking back to all of you. So without further ado, let's get straight into this new episode. So to do a bit of a recap, the last part we left off. Naruto and Sasuke and his group caught Deidara as they extracted information from him and Naruto finished him off. They then found Itachi and Kisame going after the four tails Jinjouki Roshi. As the group arrived, Guren quickly went through the plan as she trapped Kisame in a crystal dome with her and the others so they could hold him off and let Naruto and Sasuke get their revenge. Naruto and Sasuke then went off with Itachi as they arrived to a old Uchiha outpost. As Naruto demanded for Itachi to tell him the truth about what happened that night, but Itachi said that he did it for power. And Naruto asked him who helped him kill everyone because Naruto knew even if Itachi is strong, there is no way he could have killed his father and everyone else. As Itachi told them Madara Uchiha. As he told Naruto and Sasuke about Madara Uchiha, and the eternal Mangeta Sharingan. It was then that the battle start, as the three of them had a hectic battle as Naruto and Sasuke were pushing Itachi to the limit. In the end, they used the lightning dragon as Itachi had to flare up his Susanoo, shocking the both of them at the amount of power that he still possessed. Itachi also told Naruto's eyes were special. Naruto then started to get pissed as he couldn't allow Itachi to beat him right here. Itachi had a change of heart and before he died, he placed his hand on both of their heads as he looked into their eyes. As he let them see everything, everything that happened about Danzo and the council telling him to wipe out the Uchiha clan to stop the war. As Itachi also showed Naruto a conversation of himself and Aizan talking about the Hayugas as they were the one who were responsible for his mother's death. Itachi also saw Naruto's eyes change before he died as Naruto unlocked a new, a new path of the hexagon. But Itachi then collapsed dead as Naruto and Sasuke collapsed out of exhaustion as the masked man appeared and took them away. So yeah guys, that was basically the last part we left off. You guys can switch across the playlist and check it out for yourself. So let's start this new episode. We begin this episode with Naruto's and Sasuke's team. After Zetsu informed them that Itachi is dead, Guren had break the crystal dome as Kisame went off. As Guren and the others searched for Naruto and Sasuke, but they couldn't find them anywhere. But luckily enough, Naruto told Teiwaya, if they should go missing, they will all rendezvous at the West Idout and they all must go there. So Teiwaya informed the group and they all headed off. Back with Naruto and Sasuke, the both of them were lying down on the ground as a small flame was in the middle of a boat of them burning as they were in a dim, lit room as they looked around. The both of them opened their eyes at the same time slowly as they looked around as their throat was dry. 
Na Naruto, where are we? Sasuke asks. I don't know, said Naruto. Ah, so you're finally awake, said a voice. As the both of them narrowed their eyes to see the masked man standing there. Before you do anything, I am a friend, the masked man said, as he moved the mask a bit to show his Sharingan. Sasuke eyes subconsciously turned into the Mangetio as the masked man started to scream as black flames covered him as he dropped back in the darkness. Sasuke said Naruto, just play along, okay? And don't reveal anything. Act like you don't know. As Sasuke narrated his eyes to Naruto, just do it, said Naruto. As Sasuke nodded, the masked man then emerged again with his mask on. Hmm. Itachi, always a clever bastard. So, he implanted that in you to stop me just in case. Well, boys, you're probably wondering why are you here. Exactly, said Naruto. We finally got our revenge. We don't want anything from you. You have really grown, kid. You remember me, right? Yeah, I remember you. You were out there when I was almost killed by those Hayugas. Yeah. Lucky thing I save you. Right now, we are the only three Uchiha still alive. Who are you? said Sasuke, playing like he doesn't know anything. Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Mother Uchiha. Mother Uchiha? said Naruto, acting dumb. You're lying. Mother Uchiha is dead. You both have the eyes of the Uchiha. Yurin is a little advanced, Naruto, being the hexagon. I don't really know your special abilities, but the both of you must know that the Sharingan is a special thing. I can transcend death. So you're saying that you're immortal, Naruto asks. Everything will die. But it's when the thing die, said the masked man. Huh? said Naruto. Enough about that. I am here to tell you guys the truth. Seeing that Itachi never told you the real reason why, he wiped out the Uchiha's. The truth, said Sasuke. Yes. Real reason why your brother killed the entire clan. It was because he loved you. As the masked man then started to tell them everything about what happened, the real reason why Itachi wiped out the clan. As Naruto and Sasuke just stood there, playing ignorant like they didn't know anything. As the both of them remained quiet after he finished. That can't be. That's a lie, Sasuke said, acting the part as he needed to be angry because if he just acts simple, masked man will figure that they already know. And you're saying that Danzo and Homura and Koharu and the third Okage order this? said Naruto. Yes, said the masked man. They need to die, said Naruto. As the masked man narrowed his eye at Naruto. They need to pay for what they did. All this time we've been hating Itachi. And they were the one responsible behind all of this. Sasuke, we need to kill them all. Konoha is also responsible for all the suffering that we went through. For losing everyone, all of our family, our friends. You're right, Sasuke said. We need to make that village burn. Naruto then stood up. As the masked man narrowed his eyes at Naruto. Where are we? Naruto asked. You're underground. Why? Because we want to go now. We need to get back to our team to plan our new revenge. Before you do that, answer me this question. Was it you and your team that took out Deidara and Sasori? Yeah, it was, said Naruto. Hmm, I knew it. Right now, the Akaski is short-handed. And so what, said Naruto. I would like you to join the Akaski and become a member. Me to join the Akaski? Not just you, you and your group, the masked man said. I will have to talk to them about it. 
Wait, one more thing. Where is Itachi's body? Naruto asks. What do you want with his body? Said the masked man. I want to give Sasuke his eyes. What do you mean by that? The masked man said. I already know that you know about the eternal Mangeta Sharingan. If you're Madara, then you're the one who take his brother Sharingan and implant it in his own. Itachi told us all about that. So, I want to give Sasuke Itachi's eyes so he can have the eternal Mangeta Sharingan. And I also want to help Sasuke bury his brother. You want to help him bury his brother? Yes, after what you've told us, things has changed. I no longer see Itachi as someone that I hate. And now, understand everything why he did it. So where is his body? Yeah, where is it? Said Sasuke as he struggled to get up and fell back down. You alright? Naruto asks. Yeah, I'm fine. The masked man then narrowed his eyes at Naruto. How is he able to regenerate so quickly? After that intense battle with Itachi, he seemed perfectly fine, but Sasuke on the other hand, seemed to be low on chakra and weak at the moment. Hmm, what is the cause of that? Don't worry, he said. Itachi's body is right over there. As he pointed, as Naruto looked down the hall to see, another dimly lit room with a cloth on the table as it was a big cloth covering Itachi's body as Naruto went in as he removed the cloth as Itachi lie there dead his eyes closed as Naruto looked down at him you still chose to kill the entire clan but I understand why you did it but I will make sure you rest in peace said Naruto as he looked at Sasuke, come on, we're ready to leave. Think about my offer, the bass man said. I will, said Naruto, as he put Itachi's body over his shoulder. As Sasuke got to his feet, as the both of them walked off slowly. Setsu then emerged from the ground. So, you're just gonna let them leave like that? Don't worry, Setsu. After everything I've told them, they will be coming back to me soon enough. Later that night, Teawaya was standing at the door of the hideout. As she was starting to worry mostly about Naruto, but Sasuke too. As they haven't arrived yet, the last thing they heard from that weird plant guy was that Itachi was dead. So where is Naruto and Sasuke? She then heard something coming out of the forest. As she turned her head, as she saw Sasuke emerge with Naruto behind him and something over his shoulder. You're back, she said as she rushed out. As she ran up to them, she saw the grim looking look on their faces. What's wrong, she said. Nothing, said Naruto. We're just tired. As Sasuke walked off. Alright, come and get some rest, she said. I heard what happened. So you finally get your revenge. But Naruto remained silent. As both Naruto and Sasuke entered the hideout to see the rest of the group. Oh, you're back, said Gorin, that smile on her face. As Sigetsu just looked over. Oh, you two are okay. Next time, you should tell us what the hell is going on. We've been looking for you guys. But we decided to come back to the... The door then slammed as Sigetsu went quiet realizing that the both of them already entered the room. As they weren't in a talking mood, as Karin was sweating, she could feel something about their chakra has changed. First, Sasuke's chakra was always a bit on the dark side, but he still had a small glimmer of hope in him. But now she could sense that hope. It was gone and replaced with pure anger and rage towards something. And Naruto's chakra, he was always light. He was always in a happy mood when he was here. But now, she could sense a darkness creeping into his chakra. 
Meanwhile, Naruto and Sasuke entered a hall room as they placed Itachi's body down. As the both of them looked down at the body, you, you shouldn't have done this, said Naruto. As Sasuke looked at him, you know I'm right. We should have fought back. Who cares about Konoha? He did all of this just because he wanted peace. Konoha didn't want us to have peace. They locked us around there, like monsters. They separated us from the main village, like we weren't a part of it. I don't know who the hell that guy is, that claims to be Madara Uchiha, but I'm sure that is a phony. The real Madara Uchiha was the one who created the village with Hoshirama, and he was a big part of the village until he went to the dark side. So that is why they treat Uchiha's like trash. And then he had to listen to their orders and kill all of them. Naruto said that he squeezed his fist so tight as his fingernail was digging into his palm causing his hand to bleed. As Sasuke let out a sigh, as he slumped down on the ground, all this time I've been hating Itachi. Come to realize, he did this to save me, us. That night, he could have killed you as well, Naruto. He could have killed me as well. But he told them that he wouldn't touch any of us. It doesn't matter how you see him. Itachi did this for peace. He didn't want any violence or war. That is the reason why he did this. A lot of other people would have died. The innocence of Konoha. That is why Itachi chose this path. I hate this path, but I understand why he did it. Those elders back there, Danzo, Homura, and Koharu, they should be killed. Sartobi, he back then, he go against the idea of wiping out the clan. But Danzo, he was the one who pushed it. He's the one I want to kill most, Sasuke said as he shake with anger. He then looked at Naruto. So what do we do now? We wait. We buy our time. We get as strong as possible. Because we're going to rain hell down on that village. And we're going to make sure that Koharu, Omura, and Danzo is killed. Anyone get in our way. We'll cut them down, said Naruto, as anger was burning in his eyes. As Naruto felt something starting to change, as he then walked away from Sasuke holding his face. What's wrong, Sasuke asked. As Naruto went to the mirror, he snapped his eyes open as his hexagon has changed. His hexagon was now an X in both eyes. A red X with four tomas around it. And the outer part of his eyes was completely white. What is this? Naruto said to himself. As Sasuke walked over, Naruto turned as Sasuke and Naruto's eyes met. As Naruto's eyes subconsciously activate Sasuke's eyes. As Sasuke's eyes switch into the Mangita Sharingan not the eternal it seems like from fighting itachi both of us has changed said naruto as sasuke looked at his eyes in the mirror as well it seems we have so that is why you took his body you wanted to give me those eyes for the eternal yeah i don't want you to go blind said naruto what about you sasuke asked aren't you going to go blind I have no idea. I am the second person to have the hexagon, and the first person didn't even live that long, so I don't know what these eyes are capable of. But this is a new part. It's like the Mangetio for the hexagon. I can feel changes already happening in my body. We will have to practice and learn fully soon. 
but I think we should give him a burial, said Naruto, as he looked over at Itachi. Yeah, said Sasuke. But first we have to remove his eyes, Naruto said. Don't worry, I'll do it. As Naruto walked over, time skip. A day later, Itachi was buried as the entire group went there and they didn't understand the situation. Naruto then informed them about everything. What happened, the true reason why Itachi killed their clan, as the group was now angry at Konoha for making the two of them suffer so much. As Gurin asked what is the next phase of the plan, as Naruto told them that they just need to hone their skills and get stronger, because soon they will be going up against Danzo, the elders, and anyone that comes in their way will be cut down without mercy. Later that night, Teiwaya saw Naruto as he went into his room, as she realized that he has been really depressed since everything happened. As a weird look came on her face, as she then blushed. Maybe I should try to cheer him up, she said to herself. As she then went and knocked on his door. Come on in, said Naruto. As she entered, you okay, she asked. Oh yeah, I'm fine, he said to her. She walked over as she sat at the edge of his bed. As the room was silent. I know you're upset, but stop acting this way, she said to him. What way, Naruto asked. Usually you're always flirting and playing with me. But now, you're so serious and I don't like this part of you. It's like you're going to leave this team. To take on some whole new revenge scheme or something like that. And I'm not going to see you ever again. As a tear came at her eye. Oh, you don't have to worry about that, said Naruto as he sat up in the bed. He placed a hand on her cheek. I will never leave you, he said to her, making her blush like crazy. You wouldn't, she asked. No, I wouldn't. A small blush then came on Naruto's face. Maybe I should have told you this a long time ago, but... I really like you, he said. You what? Yeah. From back when we were at Orochimaru's hideout. From those days. I don't know why. It was just something that drew me towards you. And I found myself being crazy overhead for you. I didn't know if you feel the same way. So that is why I didn't really say any. Naruto couldn't get to finish that sentence as she launched on him and gave him a kiss. As the both of them shared a passionate kiss. I like you as well, she said to him. As she then curled up in his arms. I wanted to do this for a long time. Just to be here with you. As Naruto wrapped his arms around her. Well, we can, Naruto said. As the both of them lie there, just holding each other. Later on in the night, Naruto woke up as Teiwaya was still on his bed. Nothing happened as Naruto couldn't believe that he confessed his love for her. Well, mostly like he liked her, but at least he took his mind off of some things. As he had a lot of stress on his head, as he realized that he had to go use the bathroom. As Naruto then got up and pulled the door. As he went out, Naruto then heard something coming as he stepped into the shadows. What the hell? As Naruto saw Sasuke's room door open and Karin walked out as she was fixing her clothes. As Naruto narrowed his eyes. Wait, it can't be, said Naruto. No, no, it can't be, said Naruto. As he saw Sasuke push out his head and then went back inside and closed the door. Those two has been doing it? Am I dreaming or something? Naruto said as he pinched himself. Whoa, I'm awake. Sasuke, you dog, Naruto said that smile on his face. Hmm, and to think, I thought that you didn't care about things like those. Well, I guess you got to Karen. Well, she always liked you, Naruto said. As he went to the bathroom, as Naruto went into the room back, as he lied down on the bed, 
as Tewaya rolled over, as he wrapped his arms around her, as he still couldn't believe what he just saw. The next morning, Naruto woke up as Tewaya was gone. He looked around the room. He then stretched and yawned as he went to take a shower. 45 minutes later, Naruto was walking through the hall as Sasuke exited his room. As Naruto had a big smirk on his face. What's with that smirk? said Sasuke. Oh, you know, said Naruto. I know. I know what? Well, you know. What the hell are you talking about? Sasuke asked. Huh, keep on playing dumb. I'm not going to say the words. I have no idea what you're talking about, said Sasuke. Okay, keep on playing dumb, Sasuke. I won't explain myself. Come on, let's go, as the both of them walked into the main hall. About 10 minutes later, the entire group was gathered around a table. So what now, asked Getsu. We're going back to Konoha, said Naruto. Really? You want to go back to that place? Asked Teiwaya. Oh, we're not going back to stay. We're going back so we can take care of Danzo and the elders from inside. What about us? Asked Guren. Oh, you're coming with we as well. Are you sure that they're going to let us in? She said. Oh, I have a plan, said Naruto. It's called the Clan Protective Program Arc. And what is that? Asked Teiwaya. But it basically means, being the last Uchiha there, we're now the head of the Uchiha clan. And we can bring you in, but anything you do, we will be blamed for it. If you, like, went on a rampage and started to kill people, the clan would be blamed. But, I know you guys won't do that. Wait, isn't it gonna be strange just going back to the village after so long? Asked Getsu. Yeah, it's gonna. And people are going to ask us a lot of questions. And that is why I already have the story. So listen up, said Naruto. The story is, we were captured by Orochimaru. And he spent these years trying to convince us to come on his side. As he wanted to use us because of our rare dojutsu. But all along, we've been accepting training from him. But we were still loyal to Konoha. And in the end, we got strong enough to the point where we overpowered him and you guys help us as well. As we met you guys, you were kidnapped from your home by Orochimaru and forced to do his bidding. So we all band together and took him out. Everyone's sweat dropped after Naruto explained the story. Well, it's the best thing I can come up with, said Naruto. And you guys need to remember it. Yeah, said Sasuke. That will do for now. All of you will be with us at the Uchiha compound. Wait, so which one of you is the head of the clan? Well, we've decided that it will be me, said Naruto. So once I am there, everything shall be good. So what about the fifth Hokage, asked Getsu. She doesn't know you, am I right? Remember, you were taken. And she became the fifth Hokage. So you have no idea who she is. Well, I know the legendary Sani in Tsunade, I heard of her, but I don't know her as a person. And also, she's going to have us watch by her anvils. You guys as well. Specifically, all of us. But don't worry, we'll get around that soon. And we'll crush Danzo from inside. And when we're ready to exact our plan, Anyone get in your way, cut them down. So I'm telling you from right here. Don't get any strange feelings towards anyone back at that village. Because we have to do things. And if you become friends with them, you won't be able to go through it. We should be telling you the same thing, said Gorin. You have been at that village since you were much younger. Do you really think you can go through all of this that you're planning to do? Oh, trust me, Gorin. Things has changed. Yeah, said Sasuke. We have now seen the village for what it truly is. A corrupted position. And Saratobi, back then act so calm and nice. And we found out that he know about all of this. But he didn't even lift a finger 
to do anything to Danzo and Itachi took all the blame. So trust me Goren, nothing will stop us from achieving our goal. We will take the three of them down. And after that ask Getsu. Don't worry, me and Sasuke are planning something much much bigger after that. But for right now, just focus on the plan. Alright, so when do we leave asked Goren. Right now said Naruto, go ahead and pack your stuff. We're leaving in about 20 minutes. Alright, as Karin got up and the rest of them, Karin then winked to Sasuke as Sasuke just smirked back as he then saw Naruto looking at him from the other side of the table as he quickly turned his face as Naruto then chuckled to himself. As Sasuke looked at Naruto, does he know? No, he can't know, said Sasuke. But guys, when we end this episode right here, if you want to see the next part of this here, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification to stay posted. Remember to share to all of your friends on your social media platform. And also, go ahead and check out the final episode of What If Kurama Gave Naruto Dojutsu. And also, I am going to be posting a new episode of What If Naruto Had Nankeki Genkai. So stay in tune for those and enjoy. And... Go and check out what if Tsunade was Naruto's mother. I post a new episode of that over on Anime King. And remember guys, if you're new and you enjoy the videos on both channels, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join Anime King. And click again and join Anime King too. And become a part of the Anime King family. And thank you all for your help and your support. And remember to go ahead and comment down below and tell me if you're new. I'll be replying and talking back to all of you. So without further ado, I'm out. Peace.